The Beaver Builder team is excited to announce an update to our Page Builder plugin. I put together this video to share with you some of the powerful new features that you will find in version 2.8. For a complete list of updates, I'll link up to an article in our knowledge base in the description below this video. Let's head over to my demo site and check it out. First up, is the brand new box module. By updating to version 2.8, all users of our page builder, including the light version, will have access to advanced flex, grid, and layers options. The box module functions much like a row or column serving as a container. It utilizes either Flexbox or CSS grid, allowing you to create complex, fluid, and flexible layout. Boxes can be nested, stacked, and organized in both horizontal and vertical orientations, as well as in a grid. For example, Flexbox is best suited for one-dimensional layouts where items need to be arranged in a row or a column with flexibility in sizing and alignment. Grid, however, is most suitable for two-dimensional layouts, offering precise control over both rows and columns, allowing for more intricate designs. In many cases, these layout models can complement each other. Flexbox might be used within individual grid items, in this example, I have built a 5x3 grid and used Flexbox to align the Beaver Builder logo and heading to the upper left side of the screen. To add a box module, open the content panel, click on the modules tab to access all standard modules. Along with the box module itself, you will notice that we have added several presets that make it easier to get started. Flex Columns generates a horizontal row of three flex boxes nested within a parent container. 3x2 grid is a layout structure using grid boxes consisting of three columns and two rows inside the parent box. 4x2 grid is a similar layout structure of grid boxes consisting of four columns and two rows within the parent box. The split header is a grid defining three columns pre-populated with a centralized photo module and menu modules on either side. And lastly, Photo grid, this layout is made up of a 4x3 grid with photo modules nested inside each box. To make it easier to work with complex structures, you can click the Select Parent Toolbar menu of a column or module. Then, when you hover your cursor over any node item, the overlay outline will change to help you identify the node. I think it's worth noting that the outline panel also got updated in this release to work more smoothly and I have found this tool to be extremely useful, especially when building layouts with box modules. Next up, we have added global styles that are available exclusively in the premium version of our page builder. With just a few clicks, you can set your preferred styling for text, headings, links, buttons, and colors. To set global styles, navigate to the tools menu. Scroll down and select global styles from the list. The settings will open in a pop-up box. Here you will see two tabs, elements and colors. First, let's explore the Elements tab. You can set up global styles for text, headings, links, and buttons. Keep in mind that the element styling set here is applied universally to all modules on your website that lack pre-configured styling options. However, you have the flexibility to override these styling choices on a case-by-case -case basis using the module-specific styling options. For example, let's click on this Heading module the changes made to this module will override the global settings. Let's head back to the global styles settings pop-up box. This time, let's click the colors tab. Here, you can set a global color palette that is then made available throughout your entire website. Assign a name to your color. Let's call this one primary color, and then choose your desired shade using the color picker. To include additional colors, simply click the add global colors button or duplicate an existing color using the duplicate icon. You can even organize your colors by dragging and dropping them into your preferred sequence. Global colors are flexible. Should you no longer need a specific color, just simply click the delete icon. To apply a global color, open up a row, column, or module. In the settings pop-up, click on the color option to open up a list of your global colors. Then click to select the desired global color you wish to apply. It's also worth noting that the color picker now supports CSS variables. This allows you to easily integrate CSS variables from your global colors, theme or custom CSS into your Beaver Builder layouts. 
The CSS variable uses a prefix of fl-global followed by the assigned name of your global color. Beaver Builder 2.8 also introduces a new module for displaying North Commerce products on your website without having to enter or use any shortcodes. In case you're not familiar, North Commerce is an e-commerce plugin for WordPress that helps you build high converting online stores quickly and easily. When you have the North Commerce plugin installed, you can add the North Commerce module found in the content panel under standard modules to your page. No need to enter any shortcodes. This works similar to our WooCommerce module, making it easy to display your content. We've also introduced an integration with Pop-Up Maker, a WordPress plugin that allows you to create and manage pop-ups on your website. Once you install and activate the Pop-Up Maker plugin, the pop-ups post type will be automatically enabled within the Beaver Builder settings. You can locate this setting in your WordPress admin dashboard under settings, Beaver Builder, post types. To create a pop-up, navigate to Pop-Up Maker, create pop-up, give your pop-up a title, go ahead and configure the pop-up settings, and click the Beaver Builder tab to launch the Beaver Builder editor. Here you will be able to design your pop-up layout. And once you've successfully created your pop-up, you can now display it within your Beaver Builder layout by using any module that supports the link option, such as the button or callout modules. I can show you quickly how this works. Let's drag a button module onto the page. In the pop-up settings, locate the link option. Click the select button, choose your pop-up from the list and click save. Now, when you click on the button, your pop-up will appear on the screen like this. Next, we've added a super handy shortcut to the WordPress media library. It is now accessible from within the Beaver Builder user interface. While editing, open up the tools menu and scroll down to media library. This allows you to easily add images, videos, and other media to your layouts without having to exit the Beaver Builder editor. Lastly, I just wanted to touch on a few more Beaver Builder 2.8 updates. The photo module also got a nice update. Let's open up a photo module, click the style tab and scroll down. Here we have added object fit and position options to allow for better control over how images are displayed. Now when working with photos, these properties make it easier to achieve desired visual effects and improve the overall appearance of images on your website. The menu modules link padding option now supports the responsive toggle and added a new padding option for responsive toggle settings. The post carousel and post slider modules now include an excerpt length option, enabling you to set the content length. Upgrade to Beaver Builder 2.8 today to take advantage of these exciting new features.